Like the Cavs and Warriors were having a competition to each pronounce themselves the most chill and talk <laughs> about how much pressure there was on the other team, not them. Take Richard Jefferson, for example. You got to hear this. It's not on us. It was not on the pressure. Where is the pressure on us? They, they, they had a 73-win team, and they added a former MVP. You know, we, we, you know, we, we added, you know, Kyle Korver and Darren Williams. Like they added, an, they added an MVP to a 73-win team um, after being down three, after being up three-one, and then KD was up three-one. You know, the pressure is, the pressure is all on them. I mean, that was kind of artful, right? Not only does he dump everything at the Warriors' feet, he brings up that both Golden State as a team and KD separately blew 3-1 leads last season. Well done, RJ, with the trash talk. Of course, the Warriors themselves were having none of it. Pressure? What pressure? Here's Draymond Green. We split on the road. I think that's the goal. Um, you know, you take care of home court. We did that. And then you go steal one on the road. I think we did that. So... You know, I don't know where all this added pressure and, you know, this, that, and the other is coming from. We did what we wanted to do. Look, here is the real truth. There is a lot of pressure on someone tonight, and his name is Kevin Durant. I mean, if this were a movie, we'd all say the storyline was being written too predictably, right? Here are the Warriors up 3-1 again. This is exactly what they got Kevin Durant for. So what did KD do yesterday when presented with this very obvious reality? Well, like everyone else in the building, he downplayed it, which to me seems like a mistake. This is a moment Durant needs to embrace, not run from. He has been an absolute beast in these finals. 34 points a game, 9 rebounds. He's shooting 52% from the field. He's been almost flawless at the line. You know that dagger shot he hit in Game 3? That's the reason this series isn't 2-2. And yeah, the Warriors brought him here just for this moment. But also, this moment is the reason that Kevin came. For his entire life, he has been trying to get right here. All the costs that have come along the way, the disappointments, the controversies, all of it has been for this. One of our regular panelists on this show and former warrior, Mr. Steven Jackson, once famously said, <laughs> I make love to pressure. No one has a way with words quite like stack, and I would not expect that quote to escape Katie's lips, but the sentiment, that is what I would like to see from Durant tonight. The moment is huge. Don't try to make it smaller. Try to make it incredible. And that's really the thing with all of these guys. And Vince, I wanted to ask you first, when we talk about pressure and our